Hey guys, Dapper Jester here, bringing you another sneak peek of my next LP. So sit back, relax, and we'll talk after the clip. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, Mental Marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead. And this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation! Resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in. Ugh. My name. Starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp 
and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. And with that, guys, I'd like to welcome you to my official Psychonauts LP. Well, I guess I don't know what makes it official, except I officially stated it's official. So let's go with that. Now, a little backstory on the creation of Psychonauts, the brainchild. Get it? Brain, synapses, psycho, you get the idea. Of Tim Schafer. I hope I said his name right. Now, some of you retro gamers will recognize Tim Schafer from Monkey Island, Monkey Island 2, a personal favorite, and hopefully a future LP, Day of the Tentacle. And for some of you less retro players, you'll recognize him from Brutal Legends with Jack Black as the main character. But that's for another time, and I'll probably go into more detail about Tim Schafer and Double Fine Productions, which is his well, gaming company, but I'm here to talk about Psychonauts. This is an action platforming game from the 2006 era, you know, PlayStation to Xbox, Windows. Back then, there really wasn't such thing as a USB controller, so you had to play Psychonauts with a mouse and keyboard, and I've done it. I've played it like that, and it's a horrible experience. Don't ever do it. Just trust me, get you a $15 USB controller and you'll be good to go. Now, I could go on about the history of Psychonauts, about how it's won tons of awards for its comedy, its gameplay, its storyline, and the fact that it is in fact in the 1001 games you have to play before you die, which, that's pretty cool. I mean, I haven't played half of them, but I'd like to actually work towards that. But this is more about what I plan on doing with the game itself. I have a definite plan on what I want to show you guys, and that's everything. I want to show you all the hidden stuff, all the collectibles, and what I quite like about this game is you can go through the whole game and not talk to a single camp kid, I guess is the best way to put it. One of the camp, one of the campers. There we go, campers. That's what I was looking for. You can go through the whole game without really talking to any of the campers other than main storyline reasons. But you would be missing out on so much of the story. And I want to show you all the little side quests, if you will. Not side quests, but like side stories. They're, some of them are hilarious, some of them are kind of funny, and some of them are just kind of you know, scratch your head and go, when did that happen? But I really don't have a lot to say just staring at a screen without playing the game. I want to, I guess, unravel the story of Psychonauts as you guys are joining me. So I guess this is it. Next episode or next video, which should hopefully be coming up Sunday or Monday or maybe Saturday. Depends on how bored I am will be the first actual gameplay of Psychonauts, and I hope you guys stay around and enjoy it. This has been the Dapper Jester, signing out, Psychonauts.